welcome back to Soul and Fitness. Today's movement class is going to be all about opening up our posture, our shoulders, bringing light back into our upper body. This is wonderful if you're pregnant or if you're a new parent. See you on the mat. I want to start by sharing with you that I have a nine month old and the part of my body that feels the most under stress at this age of his life is my upper body. So my wrists and my shoulders all of a sudden have started to be a little bit more irritated than maybe earlier on because he's gained more weight recently and he's also moving so much. So when I'm carrying him, I'm constantly engaging my muscles to make sure that he's safe. So we're gonna do about five or six movements today that focuses on just opening up and also strengthening at the same time. So the first thing we're gonna start is by standing on our mat. You're gonna be very tall on your body. So always beginning with your feet, making sure that the toes are pointing forward, going up the body, our core is engaged, our chest is lifted, and our shoulders are relaxed. So I want you to imagine like you're in a pool. We're gonna begin by opening up the arms and bringing it back. We're doing backstroke, and it's more important to go back than it is to go forward with the shoulders, which is also wonderful for, for the rotator cuffs, but it's just about reversing the body on how you're standing and holding all throughout the day. Reach the fingers, open up, and you can do this at home all throughout the day, even if you're out and about, before bed. Just taking moments to just stretch it out. Stretch your chest, your biceps, your fingers. Now let's do both arms together. Bend the knees, open up, and circle, 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 and keep going. Notice if one side tends to be a little bit tighter than the other. There you go, both arms. Because maybe you're carrying more on one side. So if that is the case, really stretch that one side that's a little bit tighter. Or maybe switch the way you carry once in a while. Use your seven done. I'm a righty for sure. Open up. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to come up to the floor. We're going to place our hands underneath our shoulders. I'm now going to lift my spine up. I'm going to drop my chin towards my chest and then around my back. So from your tailbone to your cervical spine, I want you to feel space being created in your back. We're now going to go the reverse direction, and we're going to open up, and we're going to create a little arch in the back, lift the chest, and go back. So just think of your spine in a little bit of a wave, just creating space in the vertebrae. Go through. And lift. Let's take one more moment to bring through. Awesome. Okay. So from here, you're going to bend the knees and you're just going to be tall. If this is bothering your knees or your ankles, you can stand and do the same exact movement. You're going to be here. Your chest is lifted. We're going to take our arms behind your body. You're going to clasp the hands. And you're just going to open up the chest. You're going to lift, 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 lift. Now, we may be a little bit lower. Maybe we're a little bit higher than I am. Wherever you are, just make sure that you're creating space here. So you can even, you know, have your hands here, not even be able to touch, that's fine, as long as you're going back in this direction. Keep pulling, keep opening. Spend time each day in this position, just to give that whoo, space, right? So we're holding here. Give it a couple more seconds. And release. Bring your hands forward and shake out your wrists. Shake it out, go different directions. Bring your hands in front of you and then behind you and just stretch those palms, fingers. Keep going back and forth. And see if some of these serve you more than others. So maybe something in here feels really awesome for you and something else doesn't. Just kind of take note of how it feels and then incorporate that into your day. Because each body is different and each day is different. These are just ideas to kind of help you think, how can I reset my body throughout the day and at the end of the day so I feel refreshed and ready to go. Okay, the last one that we're going to do is come into stand. This one is more of a strength for your posture. You're going to bring the arms forward. We're now a little bit more open in our body. You're here. We're going to pull the arms back. My chest is lifted. I'm going to maintain the effort of the lifted chest and the engagement of the back. I'm going to lift the, the palms to face forward. I'm going to pull my arms up, back down, keep the chest open the whole time, reverse the hands, and release. So it's like holding tension that entire time. It's very like you have to think about it and you have to feel it. So let's do that three more times. 
Arms are in front of us. Pull it back, engage your back muscles. Maintain that as you flip the hands. Lift up, pull all the energy down towards the floor, chest is lifted, release, and let go. So if you do that and you hold that, it's, it's work, you feel it. So two more times, bring it back, open up, pull down, let it go, and come forward. Last one together, back, each one a little bit more open, lift, and release, let it all go. Okay, so just a few things that you can focus on. I hope that you found something in here that works for you and gives a little bit more life into your body. Thank you for joining us, guys. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to us, and we'll see you soon. Always one love.